again everyone, this is Andalyn with Cambridge Butterfly Conservatory here to show you another fun bug video. And I have something really exciting to show you today. It's a first for us here at the conservatory, something we've never had before. So of course I had to share it with you. So one of the types of insects we take care of here at the conservatory are beetles. And we, a couple years ago, recently acquired a new to us kind of beetle, which isn't native to Ontario, but it is native to the southern US. It's called the Western Hercules beetle. This is a male. They've got these great big horns on their head. Females don't have the horns, but they in real life could sit in the palm of my hand. They're quite large. They are the largest beetle in North America. So I was able to acquire some a while ago, which was really exciting. Females laid eggs and we got baby beetles. So butterflies get all the press for the crazy metamorphosis they go through. How many stages do they go through? Can you remember? Go through four, egg, caterpillar, chrysalis or pupa, and then the adult butterfly. But butterflies aren't the only ones who do that. Beetles, flies, and bees all go through those four stages. So these beetles, they started out as teeny tiny eggs about the size of a sprinkle. They hatched into caterpillars, which are also called larvae. I want to show you one. Now these larvae, they eat and grow for a really long time. One to two years. They get really big. So this is one that's about as big as it's going to get. Check it out. So it kind of looks like a big grub that you might find in your yard or garden, which isn't too far off because they are all related. So this is a large Hercules beetle larva and they live underground. They like to dig and bury themselves and they just eat dirt, rotten wood, leaves. I had to dig for this one way down at the bottom. It's going to go dig in right now. Yep, bye. See you later, larva. Um, and then after they're a larva, they have to make a pupa in which they transform. So I will show you one as well because we have one in the pupa. I have to be really careful because, okay, you can't actually see the real pupa because it's inside this ball of dirt. It looks like just a ball of dirt, but inside here, there's a larva that's transformed. It's changing into an adult beetle. It can take two to three months. So it's a, a bit of a waiting game. We have to be patient. I don't know what's gonna come out of here. We have to wait and see. I'm gonna put it right back there. But the other day, I was tending to our Hercules beetle larva to see how they were doing, giving them some more rotten wood. Maybe doesn't sound very good to us, but hey, somebody's gotta eat that rotten stuff out there in the forest. And lo and behold, we have our first adult beetle, yay! So I wanna show you. Meet Mrs. Hercules beetle, it's a female. She's our first one. So as larva, they, la they like to eat rotten wood, rotten leaves, but as adults, they have a sweet tooth. So I gave her an orange slice she hasn't eaten it yet. I guess she's not hungry. She's still getting used to being an adult beetle. And she also likes to dig down. I guess there's something about these beetles they like to dig. And here she is. So she's got these lovely gray specks on the back. She's nice and shiny. She's got a fuzzy bum, which we all think is really cute. And so now she will be a, um, an adult beetle for maybe a few months. I'm really hoping that the adult beetle that's gonna come out of that pupil chamber could be a male. And then we might have a second generation, which would be really exciting. So I wanted you to meet her. Now, because these Hercules beetle larvae live in the soil and they eat the rotten stuff and they poop it out, they are recycling a lot of good nutrients. They're called decomposers and they play a really important role in nature because they are in the dirt and they're recycling all that stuff, moving the nutrients around, making it available for plants, other animals. The larvae themselves are food for other animals, which is really important. So when I was looking for the larvae to make sure they were doing okay and had food, and I'm sifting through all of this great soil, it looks a lot like compost. And I thought maybe our horticulturalist might be able to do something with it. So let's go talk to Denise, our horticulturalist. She's gonna show us what she used it for. So hey everyone, this is Denise, our horticulturist. She's the one who works really hard to keep all the plants really happy and healthy here at the conservatory. So Denise, what did you end up using all that uh, soil I gave you for? So this soil here, the peat, the coir, the bug poo, I used to plant up cuttings of our blue border weed, which is a bush back here. And this is gonna make an incredible soil for these plants because this Bug poop acts as a fertilizer, meaning I can use less synthetic fertilizer. 